Godzilla and Godzilla 2 are trademarks of the Toho Company. Hopefully they won't sue me for playing such a wonderful and old game. Godzilla has appeared! Man your stations! Attack force! Scramble! Missiles deployed! Stand by for attack! Man your engines! Defend the city! We're defending the city from Godzilla. Godzilla 2! War of the Monsters. This is what we're playing. We're playing Scenario 1, the resurrection of Godzilla, which should be easy. Scenario 1, resurrection of Godzilla. Godzilla and Baragon appear, defend the nuclear power plant. Because, let's face it, nuclear power is better than coal or fracking, natural gas, which you get through fracking, so you don't want to know the monsters that those those thing, types of power summon. They're far more grotesque than Godzilla. Alright, so let's look at the units. We've got the fighter, the tank, which has more health than a fighter, but is slower, naturally. We've got one of those, and a missile launcher. Uh, this would be a bomber, or, or an attacker, because we're deploying a radar car from the army base and a trailer. Because attackers, apparently... Uh, I guess it's like a fighter bomber, maybe. It, it, everything attacks things. I mean, come on. Let's see what Dr. Sirizawa has to say. Deac activate the destroyer in water, and you will be able to defeat Godzilla with five block radius. <laughs> uh, and let's see. What else we can do? We can... We can turn the music off. I was... Hoping to change the music, we can uh, we can talk to Doctor Wagner here. Wag w Wagner, if you load the A bomb into a trailer, you can allure Godzilla to your direction. We're alluring Godzilla. Let's see what Doctor Dickens has to say. I can't help you. You you can't help us. Why are you even on my speed dial, Doctor Dickens? I, I can't believe this. What are we paying you for? I demand help. Alright, at least you're honest. You're fired. Dr. Dickens, I'm not, I'm not having it. Nothing there. That's the nuclear power plant we have to defend, apparently. And here's an A-bomb! Alright, that's what we like to see. Here we have a factory. Which is useless to me. A, a empty airbase. Another factory. Got Godzilla over there. Let's move our missile launcher up a bit and prepare to attack. Move up our fighter here. And let's take a look at Godzilla. He can move five spaces, so. Theoretically, he could actually attack my fighter at the moment, if he gets full movement on land. I know we get movement bonuses, or we can full, move full speed on pavements, like so. So, hopefully, although it doesn't seem like Godzilla would be impeded by anything, hopefully he just doesn't use his full movement this turn, I guess, is what I'm hoping. I, I probably should have looked at his movement before I did that. Anyways. Let's move the rest of our units into position. Move up our attacker. Which is not a bomber. It's an attacker. It's very different, apparently. And our tanks here. That's everything for this turn.
destroyed. He destroyed the factory. No, Godzilla. Why did you do this? How can you be like that? To factories. They make little plush versions of you. Or at least they would if you didn't stomp on it. Move in the A-bomb! Bring in the... Radar car. And I suppose whatever's coming out next will come out later. That trailer. And we're not going to attack with our fighter this turn. We, we certainly could. But I think it's inadvisable to move in alone. In fact, we should probably move back, if anything. So, that's exactly what I'm gonna do, because I don't want to get attacked by Godzilla yet. We'll just form up over the ocean. Because he can't move full speed through the ocean, can he? Can he? Uh, the name Godzilla comes from the words Gori uh, Kujira, Gorilla and Whale. So, and it, they combined the two words, they took the ku off, so it ends up being Gori Jira or Gojira, which ends up being Godzilla because you can convert a J noise to a Z pretty easily in Japanese, apparently. So, that that's the history of the name of Godzilla. Gorilla Whale. Goriju... Gorijira. Go, or go, go, Gorji... Gojira. Gojira. Go, go, yeah, I was, I was saying the really. Gojira. Gorikujira. Gojira. I believe that's correct. Anywho, correct me if you want to in the comments if I'm wrong. Uh, or if you want to, really. I mean, who needs to be accurate about things, right? Uh, uh, anyway, so, you know, uh, the videos, the popularity of videos are often evaluated by their comments, so why don't you just add more comments? I mean, geez. Uh, for no reason. I mean, no. Let's not spam, I guess. That's, that's, well, spam's good, I suppose. Spam, spam, spam. No, it's, it's actually quite terrible. Let's see what Dr. Sirizawa has to say. The exact same thing. Destroy him with the destroyer within a five block radius. That certainly would be nice. I'd like the destroyer to show up. Uh, but I don't see any navy. So, and whenever I get the boat, because the destroyer's a boat, right? Uh, I, I presume it would be. There's like battleship, there's a destroyer, submarine. And I, I've got all my units here, and I don't see one. But there's a trailer. And there's Borgon! Holy crap. That's not, that's not good. He's gonna scoop out the city from behind. Run away, trailer! Run straight through the, uh, straight through the grass. Because that roundabout does seem to be quite long, anyhow. Nothing at that airbase. We don't care if it gets destroyed. Pretty sure I checked that earlier, but who knows? I could resupply it at any moment, right? Eh, probably not. I guess it's time to move in. We got him pretty well surrounded here. I'll start with the tanks, perhaps. Might be better to start with the ground assault. There's less spaces for for vehicles. You can make it, right? Six moving on him. Seems like, like enough of the ground units can make it this turn. I'm gonna do it. Die, Godzilla! Die! Commence the attack! Uh, not... Apparently you can't drive over the rubble. 
So, try again. So much for completely surrounding him with the uh, ground units, so he does have one square of water. But I've got a lot of planes, so I don't think. Fire the cannon! You attack in this game using a uh, lottery type of slot machine system. And it seems like it's generally irrelevant as long as you don't get like three matching elements. But I'm not sure. I'm not sure if the lottery system actually is having an influence on the battle in instances where you don't get three of a kind. But if you get three of a kind, you're gonna hit him, and he's gonna miss you. Other than that, I don't feel like it has an influence. I feel like it's just random who wins and who loses. So most of the time, the lottery there, like there, didn't really make it. It's it, The wheels are moving so fast, or the reels, that it's hard to match them up using skill. So I just generally hit the button. Although, maybe... I wonder if you've got really fast reactions, I suppose you can make it work for yourself. But I don't think the reels matter. Influence the battle. Except for when you get three of a kind, when you get complete success. And this can happen on attack or defense. Alright, we gotta send some forces to deal with Oregon. My vehicles are all close by, and it's gonna take them a while to get over there, so... I'm only gonna send the furthest away tanks. Gonna keep some of my Air Force here. We've done two damage to Godzilla out of... It looks to be how many chevrons of health? He looks like he has got a lot of health, but it doesn't seem like it's insurmountable at this point. So, given that Borgon is slightly worse than Godzilla, or slightly not less, slightly lesser than Godzilla, I think I'll be okay if I split like maybe slightly less than half of my force. Like, the larger half stays with Godzilla, the smaller half hits the new guy. Wow, I slammed him with that bomb! And he slammed the attacker, too. Yeah, Godzilla won't last very long at this rate. At this rate. Anyways. So yeah, let's... We could even send half of our forces to deal with Baragon. I certainly don't want to get the nuclear power plant trashed. So I'll send my fighters, because they're faster. And maybe one bomber. I'll keep the other one here to get deal with Godzilla. And stay on the aerial to deal with the sea squares. Or two bombers, really. Not his beam. The first missile truck has been killed. First casualties of war. And... He's going towards the laboratory where the destroyer is. So that's where the destroyer is. Well, I've been neglecting something, clearly. Well, we've got the destroyer in production. It'll be out in five turns. Oh, 
but we don't need a destroyer to kill, kill Godzilla. He's going down at a decent rate already. Slam. Godzilla doesn't seem threatening at all. I don't see why they named the game after him. He is a bit painful, though. That bomb did surprisingly little damage. So much for bombs being super effective against Godzilla. Tank bullets look kind of fun. They're all wavy. We are taking a lot of casualties this turn. Let's move in another tank. to recall that bomber, naturally. And perhaps... Not sure which way to send the tank. Probably still need him against Borogon. Okay, damage there. I don't know what DP means versus LP. I'm pretty sure LP is life points, because when you run out, you die. DP? Defense points? Durability points? Damage points? I don't know what they are. The radar helps you find Borogon. Borogon hides. Because he's a jerk. <clears throat> Let's send our bomber here to take down Borogon and the fighter. Hopefully we can stop Borogon before he destroys the lab. We'll just drive through the houses here because we have five movements and we get three through the grass and or people's houses. That's my house! M official military business. But you're driving a check straight through my livelihood! Well, uh, Godzilla will be stepping on it pretty soon if we don't hurry up. Uh, Alright, but I'm not happy about this. Attack with the attacker. Fire the bomb. Drop the bomb. I did one chevron worth of damage. Which, I think I did that damage last turn, even. 
think Godzilla is regenerating. And that's not good when I'm taking casualties like this. It's not good at all. Nobody told me he regenerates. The game is called Godzilla, after all. Miss. How can you miss such a giant target? He missed you and you're tiny. That's terrible. It's terrible attacking from an attacker. Alright, we need to do some major damage fast. Fire the missile! The missile missed. It is, it is the first part of the word missile, after all. It's kind of an old joke. But still, it shouldn't be missing like that. On such a large target, maybe he was very far away since he missed as well. Fire the cannon! Three times, apparently. Very high rate of fire tank. And we did some damage, which is good. Unfortunately, tanks are tough. We can take some beaming. I haven't tried the gun. I'm gonna try the machine gun. Just because at least it won't miss, right? Right. But it won't do any damage either. Just, just a little bit of DP. And I got trash. That wasn't good. At least we got one extra missile launcher. Maybe I won't be beating Godzilla so easily after all. Apparently I'm not gun done experimenting with the gun. At least it did damage this time. I'm not sure which is better. The gun's more accurate. The missile is far more damaging. I get the feeling that the missile launcher is better. Perhaps I should see if this guy can hit the backside. And then I'll put that guy on the left. To protect it. Fire the missile. And it missed. Seems that missiles are far more inaccurate than your standard machine gun. And probably bombs are even more so. I think that's the general theory. As you go down to the bottom of the list, more damage, less accuracy. At least we scratched him there, and he trashed the fighter. This is looking bad. That guy has a very powerful beam horn. Miss. At least we didn't get hit, but I'm starting to feel an emphasis on dealing damage. I'm, I'm worried that Baragon there might regenerate as well. I hope he doesn't. Move up the bomb. Get the trailer. Come on. Alright. One damage. And one MP. I guess that's the movement points. You can get your movement points injured. So, I guess at least we howled him, but we lost our airplane. And that's gonna dip into our DPS a bit here. I'm starting to worry that we're not gonna kill Godzilla after all. At least not with, uh, with the military. 
Guess it never really worked that way. Uh, worked out that way in the movies either. Oh well, it's not hopeless yet. In fact, we did some very good damage last time. Maybe we can do this. If we just get some good hits. He's almost dead! Of course, he'll be regenerating. Just slam my tank. This could really go either way at this point. Fire the missile! Come on! Oh, you missiles! Missing! Missiles are useless! They're useless, I tell you, except for the times when they actually did a good job. Alright, come on. Well, at least since I got meat grindered a bit there, I get another attack. So, uh, at least there's a positive side to my vehicle dying. Let's hope we can do more than one damage with the gun, or at least injure him. We injured him. We get three attacks next turn. I think we might be able to do this. Although I might end up regretting not firing a missile there. Because I could have potentially killed him. That's alright. Alright. If we can kill him with this gun, we win. Got so close to getting three of a kind. We killed him? Or... Well, actually, he's barely alive. Damn it. I've had my units do that before, too. It seems that life points are a number, and not a certain amount of hashtags. And so, he gets to regenerate. And... Does this... Then that guy does, too. We're in trouble. I'm officially declaring a state of emergency here. If he keeps firing his laser like that, his laser, he may be more dangerous than Godzilla. At least that, that laser is powerful. He's He's got less life, though. Keep dropping those bombs! Keep... missing. How can you miss such a huge target? Oh well, we got, still got a lot of troops here. With which to take out. Baragorn. Baragon. That fighter didn't die. That's lucky. Just gonna use the guns. Having better luck with those these days. Move the A-bomb! I uh, don't think deploy will be... <laughs> is a very good idea. If it, if it means what I think it means, I think load is the appro appropriate option. Alright. He gained two chevrons this turn, because he's a giant jerk. Yeah, I'm really starting to think that maybe I should have used the missiles. Although they could have kept missing. They may have done more damage than what just happened there. If he can regenerate faster than I deal damage. But anything more powerful than the machine gun is prone to missing.
Well, I think we're boned! So much for defeating Godzilla. Still hope. Yes, do your happy dance, Godzilla. You win. But I can still get that destroyer. I'm starting to think I was getting lucky with those machine guns, and that machine guns just do terrible damage in general. Let's go back to bombs. It seems I was getting pretty lucky early on, and that my luck has run out. I can still kill a Baragon. I'm not gonna let some gone monster beat me. Really rip my tank a new one. That guy has very high attack power. Let's go back to missing with missiles. As I suspected. Wow! He lives! He actually can do small amounts of damage. That was rather unexpected. This game is generally full of surprises, it seems. As far as the randomness factor is concerned. Miss. That does make it interesting. Although that does mean I'm getting trashed today. Yeesh. Okay, we've got three units to take down all of Oregon's health nearly. And he's doing incredible damage and regenerating. At least we heard his DP. Which, I'm not sure if it means defense or dodge, but it's something. Hopefully he's weakened. Just fire the radar car at him, I don't care. We're gonna kill him. Or use the radar car. It's got a machine gun. And a machine gun's just about as good as a missile launcher or a cannon. I mean, really. Apparently. It's, it's way more accurate. That radar car didn't take much damage. That's good. You think a radar car wouldn't be very tough. You just crumple. But apparently, it's about as tough as a tank. In fact, maybe even tougher, considering he's crushed a few tanks and far less. The missile launcher is not giving up, even though he's got four health. Just fire the missile! I should have fired it earlier. Aw, oh, if we could get gotten three of a kind. Then maybe two damage. Uh, it's sad to think that I could have killed Godzilla if I had been firing missiles full time, but... I probably would have missed. We'll just look at it that way. Now, supplying... And... If I recall... And you can't even run into him, that's funny. As I recall, you can search and then attack in the same turn. So that shouldn't be a problem for the radar car, but it looks like if I don't have the radar car, I might be screwed, so let's attack with that last. But I need all the damage I can get, so I can't, can't exactly not attack with the radar car in good conscience. 
And there goes my tank. Or well, I might as well just attack with it now, what the heck. Things can't get much worse. I say as I... Lose my radar car early. I, I need to do all the damage I can. Oh god, he's firing the laser cannon. Which deals no visible chevrons of damage. That radar car is really tough. Or is getting really lucky. It's hard to tell which, really. I guess if it doesn't have higher DP, then maybe it doesn't have higher defense. I'm still confused. But I just got missed. So that's good. I haven't lost my entire military. As long as I've got a slot machine, I've got hope. Right? I mean, I could just start landing everything. Wow. I landed that missile. Three chevrons worth of damage. And no damage received. Based, well, no. Damage received. No visible damage received. I'm sure I lost a few health numbers. Because this game operates on numbers, and the chevrons are just a way of representing that, obviously. Okay, how much longer can this fighter hold out? Until he kills it, right? Come on. Ah, oh, I jinxed it. <laughs> I say. You jinxed it! Perfect timing. The destroyer has arrived. It has 30 DP and 16 health. Was 30 a lot? That sounds like a lot. We need to kill Borogon, so let's, uh... Let's see. I'm not sure how that related to a tank. I'd have to go back in the footage. But it seems alright. Did not scratch Borogon. And Borogon did scratch, scratch the Destroyer. At this point, though, we'll be lucky if we can kill the thing. Or even deploy the Destroyer. The Destroyer only gets three movements, so I don't think it'll be able to get away. On its own, anyways. Not when Godzilla has five. Okay, we nearly got destroyed there. And I hit the wrong button. Might as well search for fun, apparently. Yeah, the radar car is actually very well armored, apparently. You guys need to learn how to build tanks like radar cars. No one can stop the radar car. It is... it's at one-third life, actually. But still, it's, 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 a, it's a lot better than a tank, apparently. We're just gonna bring the atomic bomb over and... I guess use its machine gun on Baragon as well, because... We need all the firepower we can get. And if we can't kill Baragon, then we won't have a chance against Godzilla. Or even if we do destroy Godzilla, we won't be able to defeat Baragon. Or if we, even if we use the destroyer on Baragon, or on Godzilla, we won't be able to defeat Baragon, so... I'm still not sure whether it's better to use guns or missiles. But since everyone's using machine guns, we might as well just fill them full of 50mm bullet holes, right? Right. Fire the guns! We took a pip off him. And we're taking his DP down to zero. So, if that does mean defense, our radar car is nearly lost, that's not good. If it does mean defense, then maybe we will kill him. I think. That's just being hopeful. Or maybe we will do something to him eventually. We lost another health. Hopefully he doesn't recover defense points, I haven't been paying attention to that regeneration. Let's just go with machine guns. It's, it's a machine gun party. 
slam. Well, he's losing more health now. And I suspect the trailer and the atomic bomb both have machine guns as well. So maybe we can defeat this thing if if DP stands for defense or or if I get lucky. Stop hiding. Why don't you fight us like a like a Boragon man? Like a Boragon. Fight us like a Gon. I wasn't paying attention. Did he regenerate DP? Oh well, I got destroyed. That's a shame. I don't think he did. He's at 3 DP. He's looking pretty healthy, though. Maybe that will make a difference. 3 JP! Alright, 3 of a kind. It's about time that shows up. I'm really gonna slam him now. Bang! 4 health. There is nothing you can do against the radar car. You may be able to stop tanks and airplanes and, and bombers, but if we strap a 50 caliber machine gun to a radar, you're, you're, you're screwed. Of course. He's got very little DP, so he does lose a chevron. I think DP might be defense. I keep saying that. Well, he is feeling dramatically less healthy now. I really am feeling like we have a chance to kill him. Godzilla is definitely taking his time. Search him out again. Three, dang. Really, really close that time. Surprised the radar car is still alive. That was. Very risky. The destroyers, this is essential, really. But I, I can't stop attacking because he's regenerating. The destroyer is nearly dead, though. It'll be a problem if we lose it. Stop hiding, you jerk! Alright, we'll move the radar car around. And I really don't want to lose this, or if I do lose this, I want to kill him in the same turn, basically. It's been pretty lucky so far. No one can destroy the radar car! For some reason, whenever I say that, I, I, I do vehicles. I gotta. Anyone can destroy the radar car! <laughs> That's what I should say. So obviously, it's too easy, so there's no reason to do so. Okay, I gotta kill him, or he has to not hide, which is something he does, but rather rarely. You're being attacked by an A bomb! If DP is defense, it doesn't make a big difference when you don't have a lot. But I guess it does make a difference, because I probably would be doing zeros otherwise, perhaps. Maybe. I think. And the trailer that the A-bomb came in is basically the same as the A-bomb, except for with less, uh, or far more movement points. He's down to two health, and no defense. Presumably. No defense. 
anyone can kill the destroyer. Please, please don't. I mean, it's it's too easy. You, you wouldn't want to do it. He's at one health. And I've lost the destroyer. Okay. Well, that's not good. And undoubtedly, Godzilla is regenerating as he slowly tramps his way across, trudges his way across Japan. Well, at least we can kill Baragon, right? It's starting to look like we might not even be able to do that. The trailer is nearly destroyed. He's got 11 LP. He regenerates at a pretty good pace, but he's got no defense. At least let me kill Baragon. If I do that, I'll start. I'll, I'll feel. I'll feel decent about this. Hey, hey! In fact, we killed him so easily. I'm wondering if I needed to use the destroyer at all. Well, I mean, I need to use it some, but at the end there. Well. That was another tactical error. I, I pretty much messed up the destroyer completely. Which is the key to killing Godzilla, but oh well. We still have one trick up our sleeve. Well, two tricks. The trailers the trailers can do it. All I have to do is all that he has 76 health and 62 defense. Okay, well, all I have to do is get three I get jackpot every single time for several turns in a row. And uh, and then I'll do it. I, 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 after all, I only hit three of a kind once in this entire Let's Play so far. But I can do it several times in a row, right? I'm pretty sure. There's no reason to give up. Godzilla keeps destroying the city. Destroyed! Oh no! The Japanese people! Ah. Oh no! Kajira! Kujira! Gori Kujira! Gorilla Whale! Gorilla Whale, everyone! Now supplying turn 19. We're not supplying anything, but if, if there was, then obviously I get it. To think I thought the destroyer was a ship at the beginning. That that is a shame. I mean this is it is a name of a type of a ship, but I guess it wouldn't make sense for it to destroy Godzilla in a five block radius when deployed. Would it? I mean ships have long range guns, but Okay. We'll have the trailer defend the bomb out front. Kinda of surprised he didn't attack. I think... How tough is my A-bomb? And how tough is my trailer? I don't want to lose the A-bomb without deploying it. Because it's it's better to destroy Japan yourself than let Godzilla do it, right? Trailer attack! Alright, you can do it. Oh. Two out of three. That's a good start, at least. He missed. Maybe we can just whittle him down like we did Baragon. He'll just have to miss. If he just keeps missing forever, we'll win, right? And the A-bomb. Which is still feeling fairly healthy. So there's no doubt we can win. No doubt at all. <laughs> okay. That hurt the A-bomb. I'm a little worried about losing it. But I'm not giving up yet. He's using his spine beam, which is very powerful and has destroyed the trailer in one shot. That's what I was afraid of. Now all we have left is the atomic bomb and the choice of whether or not to deploy it. Unless... Hmm. 
Summon Hero Boy, both of you. Hero Boy! Hero Boy! Hero Boy! That is I! I must succeed! I must succeed! Hero Boy, I would say you did quite well, don't you think? I did not try hard enough. I would say you did very nicely, though. And the force of your punches, my word. The monster must have found it quite stinging and jarring. I have failed to succeed. Hero Boy, that's true. I would agree you have failed to destroy the monster, and that's really too bad. But you have succeeded in giving us a nice, good laugh. <laughs> oh, well. Hit it! What a foolish thing you have done to have employed the atomic bomb. Well, what choice did I have? He, he lived anyways. It was right in his face. That's not fair. What is he made of? How tough is he? Regenerating a Godzilla... Gorilla Whale. Oh well. Thank you for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this. And uh, next coming up will be an arcade game called Fantasy. Good night, everyone.